What is going on WBDF Universe? My name is Microsoft Sam and I believe it's time for another fan survey, mostly because there seems to be a lack of comments in the episodes lately, and because some are stating some storylines aren't as good as they used to be, yet those storylines aren't really being mentioned, it's basically giving criticism without a reason as to why there is a problem, if you know what I mean. Anyway, let's get to it. We would really like to know your feedback in the current season of WE. D.F. once again, since it's really been a long season so far. Oh well it feels like it, Hannah. Also in case you guys run out of room posting in the comments, I will be posting these questions over in the forums. But anyway, it's time to get this started. Here are the questions. 1. In a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate season 3 of WED thus far and why? 2. Favorite wrestler, 3. Favorite brand, 4. Favorite commentator, 5. What do you like about WEDF? 6. What do you dislike about WEDF? 7. What can WEDF do better? 8. Who do you think should be pushed to be a world champion? 9. Which superstar would you like to see receive a bigger push up the card? Is a superstar being overexposed and taking too much screen time? Why? 10. What feuds and storylines have you enjoyed? Which ones need improvement? 11. Are there any wrestlers that WEDF has not already signed that you'd love to see on the roster in the distant future? 12. What are your thoughts on the commentary? Which commentators do you like? Which ones do you think need improvement? 13. Are the storylines predictable or unpredictable? Which brand has the most predictability in the storylines? 14. Do you guys enjoy longer feuds or shorter feuds? Do any feuds feel like they are dragging out too long or getting too boring? Are there any feuds that should go longer? Explain your answer, and why you think it's that way. 15. What do you think about tidal rain lengths? Whose rain has been going on too long? Has there been any rains that's been going on too short? How many months do you guys think the superstars should hold their title for? Should there be more of a variety of champions? Should titles change hands quicker or longer? 16. What are your thoughts on ECCW? Should it continue? Is it a good place to build up talent that doesn't have a current place on Raw or SmackDown? 17. Is there anyone in the roster you might think needs to be released or cut from the roster? Why? Also. But, 